Alright guys, today we're going to be making a uh, simple GUI, um, a lot less complex than the, Latin thing, the um, what's it called, the Explore GUI. I thought that was a little bit too advanced for uh, so being so early made in the series. So we're just going to make a simple one here and then maybe you could go back there and you'll understand what it is. So let's create a screen GUI. And this is just this is pretty much the basics of scripting. If you keep adding this onto it, onto each other, and just doing everything you can uh, with what you have, you'll be able to make a lot of awesome things. Like for instance, I recently made a Pathfinder, which is pretty fun and a big pain in the butt to make. So let's start making some buttons. Alright, right now I'm inserting a button and label. The label is just going to be the title of it. Um, I'll show you guys what I mean by that. And let's create a background. Let's do 250 by 400. <laughs> um, yeah, this is why I never use the frame for anything. I'm just going to use the Hold on. I'm just going to be using the uh, text button or the text label as the background because the frame always seems to glitch out on me. And, alright, let's make this. That looks pretty good. Let's remove the border. Make it part transparent. Change the color to something nice. Um, here we go. Let's move it down a little bit. Um, let's see here, what else? Oh yeah, let's make a title named um, Control Panel. This is all just for uh, aesthetics. There's not really any purpose to doing this. It's all just uh, to make it pretty looking. Alright, there we go. Um, move the text up to the top. It looks a little bit weird, but I guess we'll go with it. And we'll name this BG, like I always name my backgrounds. Um, here, let's make a basic button that we could just keep copy and pasting. So, let's find out a good size. Alrighty then, 70 by 40. Uh, let's make that a little bit longer, as per she said, and there we go. Oh, let's parent that inside the uh, background, just so it's easier to position it. Um, this is 100 long, and this is 250 long. Alright, let's get this centered. Oops. <laughs> Derp. Alright, it's pretty centered. Um, let's move this down a little bit. And let's name this um, Walk. Walk. Or, or let's name this Run. Alright, now let's create a simple function in it. Actually, I'm going to teach you guys. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Um, I told you how you could use tags and you could use those to check a lot of things and shorten a lot of work down, but I prefer to use tags this way. Or I prefer only to use tags if uh, you're only using one script and no other scripts are going to be running with that script, as in like working together. So I'm going to show you guys something simple. I do this often and I did this like 20 times for my Pathfinder. And let's just name this walking or is walking. Alright, let's put the script in. I'm not really going to explain too much of the script except for one part because I taught you guys how to do a lot of this. Function walk. Alright, there we go. Now, 
this is walking right now is just a random value. You could set it to any number. So let's do if script.parent dot is walking is equal to zero then um let's do script.parent dot parent dot parent dot parent dot parent um you can use a local script but I don't want to go into that yet. Right now so I'm just trying to find the script's parent and uh in the workspace. Actually, you know what? This is just so messy right now. Let's just do a quick local script. There we go. Oh, I have to rewrite it all. Alright. Alright, there we go. Now let's do if script up parent dot is walking that value is equal to zero then um let's see let's change this now because we don't want this to run again i'll show you guys what i mean by that in uh, a little bit later on then do uh workspace um I actually rarely use local script, so let's look that up real quick, even though I have a general idea. Player.walk speed equals to bit or 25. I, I don't think that'll work, but just in case I remember how to use local script. Uh, this is how I learned the script mainly. I just googled what I didn't know. Uh, even now I don't know a lot of things actually. Oh, that actually works out. Yeah. Alright, let's, let's um, use this. That's how they use it, right? Yep. Uh, character dot lock speed equals to 25. Alright, there we go. Why do I have that extra N there? Alright, anyways, so now, else, let's change this to 0 and change this to 16. Alright, this is the part of the script I'm going to explain. The else pretty much means. If the value is not equal to zero, then whatever else it could be, change it back to zero. Then change the player's walk speed back to walking. And let's do script up parent that text equals to walk. And that's pretty much just going to tell the person what the next button will do. And let's see here. This is a pretty ugly panel, but this is just for show. Alright, let's see here. Oh, walk speed is not a valid number of model. Oh yes, we forgot one thing. The humanoid. That's pretty much where your walk speed, your health, your animation, um, where you're walking to. Oopsies. Where you're walking to and everything you're doing gets stored at. I'll show you guys in game when we get there in a second. Alright, so we're going in and press the button and you sprint, press it again and it says run. So that works pretty good and I'll show you guys how your player's humanoid works. Alright, there we go. There's your walk speed, so I'm running right now and if I change it back, I'm walking. And then this is, um, suppose you click to go somewhere, it would change the uh, where you're walking to right here. Then you can make yourself jump, sit, and platform stand, which, well, if they fixed the escape button, but you used to be able to press escape and just get out of this. Alright, so, <laughs> that works.
Um, I'll show you guys real quick what the init value was for. Here we go. Alright, see? Every time... Hold on. Every time you change that... It changes. Hold on, what? Alright, I think it's glitched out, but... You get the general idea. This will switch to... Yeah, this will switch to this value will switch to one if the player is running. So let's also change the color. Um, let's rename this run and let's do. Hold on, let's find a decent color. Um, for run, let's make that. Uh, I don't. I don't know. Um, Let's do this manually. Workspace dot starter gui dot screen gui dot frame dot bg dot run dot brick color. This is how you change colors, by the way. Hold on, that didn't seem to work. Oh, sturdy gui is not a valid member of workspace. Oh, that's my bad. I forgot it's not located in the workspace. Derp. Starter GUI. Okay then. Oh yeah, I forgot. You gotta put the game in front instead of like workspace. Brick color is not a bad number. Well, if you run this through a script, it'll work. So let's just make this run as a script. Um, script parent dot. Also, there's multiple ways to check if the player is running or not. Like, you could check their walk speed directly, or you could do other things. But uh, I simply chose to do this because I wanted to teach you guys how to use the values across multiple scripts. And bright green. Uh, what this will do is it'll just change your uh, your guys' uh, color pretty much, the button's color. And then while that's loading, let's create a new button real quick and let's name it whoopsies <laughs> derp alright run oh, brick color is not a valid number hmm maybe it's just color I don't know before this worked um, I don't know if I had something special to make this work before oh yes 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 my bad background color derp uh, this is where I make a lot of my mistakes. It's just little stupid stuff, like I'll forget a little tiny end there, here. Whoopsies. Background. Color. Um, so see if you click here, and you look at it, it says background color. You don't need the three at the end. Alright, let's create another button real quick though, to set your health. Insert object. Uh, this time you're going to do a text box, and this is because you want to be able to edit it. So let's just copy this thing's size and everything pretty much. <laughs> Make things a whole lot easier. Uh, let's just copy its position, but we're going to shift it down a little bit so it's not overclogging it or overrunning it, whatever you want to call it. So let's make this a little bit lower and let's name this health text equals health alright I'm just gonna copy this script this is also really useful if you just keep copying uh, scripts and uh, using the basic functions that they have already it's really simple um, don't even have to rename anything in here uh, somewhere of all this you don't even need anything complex here. Uh, dot L equals Alright, so what you're gonna do is 
when you press the button, it's going to check your health, and then it's going to add um, from zero. It's going to add on the health you already have, plus how much is in there. But this, I just messed this up slightly because this is a text box, not a label. So we can just move this in here. Um, delete the other stuff. Yep, that's there. Script up parent. Let's rename this run so we don't forget. Script up parent. Parent help. All right, this is because you don't want it to add on um, the text right here. It says run. You don't want it to add on run to your health or else that just won't work. You want it to add on the health text, which will be, let's set this at zero right now. Uh, let's make this a little bit smaller. Um, 40. And let's make the run 100. Um, let's make this also 40. And let's move this over a little bit. <laughs> Not enough there. Uh, there we go. Alright, um, I guess we can make this 42.5. Nah, let's just keep this at 40 to make things simple. Alright, so let's change this thing's color to like, I don't know, yellow. And as the text, it'll say add and it'll yep it'll say add and it's named add now and let's recolor this to let's make it let's see uh hmm let's just make it brown and let's yeah let's not do brown that makes it uh, a little bit messy the text gets hard to read all right so now if you go in game Oh, this will work. Alright, there we go. So, run and walk. Uh, that's just a color glitch. I'm not going to go over that again. You guys get the idea. You can just do it without the color. Um, so, suppose your guy takes... Um, suppose he takes 99 damage. And you want to add on 50. So you just press that and it adds on 50. And then suppose you wanted to take away some, you could do minus 50 and it'll damage you. And then if you press minus one, you could slowly drain yourself. Or plus one, you could slowly heal yourself. Just smashing the button. Yep, so that works. Um, So, not this. So this I will upload as another place in my uh, places so you guys can edit this and go in and do whatever you want. And I'm going to move the color part because that just looks bad. It's glitching out. Um, I know how to do it. I just, I don't know, I just can't do it right now. And let's just change the color real quick here to something else. Like... Blue. Alright, so yeah, this is the end of this, and be sure to like, because every time I get a certain amount of likes, I pretty much just make a new one, or it just uh, helps me know when I should make a new one, helps motivate me when I'm trying to say, and I hope you guys like the new intro, uh, subscribe, like, and comment, see you later.